Okay, so here's actually something quite good. GoFundMe, who in the past has seemed very biased, brushes off boycott calls over Trump fundraiser as fans try to help ex-president foot legal bills, quote, don't see a problem. Damn. Crowdsourcing platform GoFundMe is standing up to pressure from the left to halt a fundraiser meant to help pay former President Donald Trump's penalties from last week's New York civil fraud ruling. Did you hear about the ruling, Di? Yeah, he used to pay like a bunch of money, doesn't he? I, yeah. I can't remember the reason why he used to pay money. He, but... it, it, it is bullshit, right? So um, the court told him, I, I've, I've, I've poisoned well there a bit, but I think you'll agree. The court told him that um, he had deliberately inflated his net worth in order to get more favorable loans, which is a thing that could be done. Um, but the problem is that he didn't. In fact, the banks that loaned him the money said not only did he not inflate his net worth, if anything, his net worth is more than he told us. He's one of the most like lucrative and desirable clients for loans. And so there's no victim in this case, but the state in a sort of unprecedented move uh, found him guilty in this civil case, despite there being no victim. And now he has to pay uh, what will likely total about $450 million. And he's not allowed to do business in New York for years. But in response to this, you may have heard this one as well. Truckers across the US are refusing to deliver to New York. I remember this. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Space truckers once again. Yep. Unlike Canada, it seems like they're they're actually not cucking on this because what was it when the truckers were protesting before and people were trying to give money towards them? Didn't the Canadian government be like, no, 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 we're gonna we're gonna close your accounts, we're gonna freeze all of your your mm. money? Thank you. That might still happen. Um, yes, that might still happen. They've already so, done it once, so. Mm. A myriad of netizens seethed and called for a boycott until GoFundMe nixed the fundraising campaign, which has raised more than $965,000 as of Thursday afternoon, but so far the company is declining to do so. Bear in mind, that's a 450th of what Trump owns. He owes, he, like, owes rather, to the, to the state of New York. It's a lot of money. And even though Trump is worth several billion, he doesn't have that in liquid capital. And he, the fact that his company is going to be less able to function, like this is an attempt by the Democrats to, to sabotage Trump's uh, presidential campaign by taking oh, all his yeah. money away. He but will the, be able to appeal this... it and it might not hold up and hopefully it won't. But if it does, it's going to severely blatant, reduce his ability to it's, campaign. It's another massive blatant attack, right? Because again, the closer and closer we've come to election, the more desperate they are not only to, to cripple him financially, but even throw him in jail. Like it's very obvious that they that they're terrified that he would get through at this point. And they're doing everything they yeah, possibly can they legally are. wise to get him to get Colossal him. Colossal illegal immigration to increase rigging and uh, uh state uh in interference to reduce his uh money. That's everything they can do to him, yes. It is. Oda says the DA has threatened seizure of his buildings if he isn't able to wait. That's a powder keg. They better be careful doing that. People will uh people will not Take kindly to that. Quote, this fundraiser is currently within our terms of service, GoFundMe Director of Public Affairs Jalen Drummond told The Post. Drummond previously worked as a White House Assistant Press Secretary under Trump. That's interesting. Didn't know that, actually. So um, I can't remember which case it was, but GoFundMe did shut down something important that we thought was was politically biased and unjustified. They've um, done that a lot of times, yeah. There's at this time, they're not. So. Good for them. Hans von Spakovsky, a former member of the Federal Election Commission and current manager of the Heritage Foundation's Election Law Reform Initiative, told The Post that he saw no legal problems or violation of federal campaign finance laws with the fundraising campaign set up by Florida woman Elena Cardona. Quote, this GoFundMe campaign can't be considered campaign contributions to Donald Trump because it's paying legal expenses that would exist irrespective of the campaign. That's, that's enlightened, yes, you're right. But I'm surprised to hear someone being that decent when it comes to Trump. Quotes, remember mm -hmm. all of the prosecutors in these cases are saying, oh, these cases have absolutely nothing to do with his candidacy, right? Wow, this guy actually seems to be on side. Like, he's actively defending Trump. This is good. Yeah, no, you're completely right, man. It's not just that you're on the right side morally, but this is the correct answer, technically. 
Quote, if they used it for some kind of campaign expense, that would be a problem. But if they stick to just paying those legal costs, I don't see a problem. And there's no reason that they can't either, because they have huge legal costs, the Trump team, for all the bullshit that's been thrown at them. Huge legal costs. All they have to do is use this money to pay those legal costs and then use the money that they didn't have to use to pay the legal costs to pay for the campaign. Now, technically, that's difficult to track, because if they're getting money in, then what's the difference between one batch of money and another? But I don't know. As long as they have the legal expenses, I think it's probably fine, uh, by, even by these standards. There are laws about contributing to campaigns in the US they'd have, they'd have to follow. But as long as they have expenses that aren't to do with the campaign specifically, then I think it's probably fine. Cardone is the wife of private equity fund manager Grant Cardone. Quote, I stand unwaveringly with President Trump in the face of what I see as unprecedented and unfair treatment or by certain judicial elements in New York, she wrote in the fundraiser's webpage. Um, so this is the person that created the fundraiser, I think. The recent legal battles he faces are not just an attack on him, but an attack on the very ideals of fairness and due process that every American deserves. And she, she's not wrong, but I think I will leave it there because we got the point. Good for GoFundMe. That, that's, that's, that's some good news there.